Hi friends, welcome back to Libby For You Die channel. My name is Vipul and today I'll be doing book review of classic best-selling book The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Clayson. So let's first talk about what's good about this book. The book begins with a historical sketch of this ancient city of Babylon. This city was having no natural resources, no mines and no forest. And all the resources supporting this large city were entirely man-made. And yet this city was the richest city in the world. So while the rest of the world was still in Stone Age, Babylonians were using spears and axes made of metal. They were clever financiers and tradesmen. And there's a mention of a great wall, which was having the length and a height of a modern 15 story building. And it was wide enough that a chariot having six horses could easily drive through it. Babylon is so, so vividly described in this book that you will be actually be able to feel as how it could have been. So next author talks about seven cures for a lean purse. Number one, never spend more than you earn. Number two, do not confuse necessary expenditure with that of your desires. Number three, Put your savings into investments so that they can multiply. Number four, guard your investments from thefts and threats. Number five, make profitable investments only. Number six, save for retirement and for your family. And finally, number seven, which is increase your ability to earn. So now let's talk about what I did not like about this book. So the first thing I didn't like about this book is that this book tells you what to do, but doesn't tell you how to do. So I was not able to relate the wisdom in this book to the current financial environment. This book could have been relevant around 20 to 30 years ago, but I don't see its relevance as on date. So book just talks about the basics of savings and investing and nothing more. And in case you're looking for a book that can give you a sound financial advice on your personal finances, I would recommend Rich Dad, Poor Dad instead. Another thing is the usage of old English words like die, commit, shouldeth, labereth makes this book difficult to read. The book has many stories which starts off very well, but they end up abruptly. And with this, you lose the interest in those stories. So with this, we are coming to the end of this book review. I hope you like this video. This is Vipul signing off till we meet again.